Hello! What's up everybody? Wit and Carrie here. Excited to be jumping on today's Daily Dose of Awesome with all of you. So... And I can't believe that we're actually asking this question, but would you like to know a way that you can actually skyrocket your business into 2020? It's kind of crazy to think that we're approaching... Already at the end of the year. It's the final quarter of 2019. <clears throat> as crazy as that sounds, so do you guys want to know how we've been able to end the each... Every, Each, every year for the strong, last three years for the last three years and actually come out in january february and march um really on fire. on fire team growing and making more money because of the things that we've done in that final quarter if you want to know raise your hand because we're also going to be letting you in a, uh to in the loop on avoiding some of the pitfalls that Whit and i have made in the past but we also see people here inside the community make all the time that is actually detrimental to your business and can actually end up making you have to completely rebuild Yes. coming the first part of the year. So yes. let us know. If you're watching this and it's not live, make sure you give us a hashtag replay. Sheree, yes. Yes, and in case Maddie. you've never met before, we're Wit and Carrie. We're um, affiliates here inside of the Elite Marketing Pro community. We absolutely love this community. Ellie, what's up? And we hey, are show. here to help you guys end 2019 strong. Like, close out 2019 yes. with a bang, all right? Awesome. So we're excited to be uh, delivering this content for you guys today and really help you hey, guys Lauren, skyrocket hey, your business the last part of 2019 into 2020. And so obviously we know come this time of year, guess what's going to start to happen? Things are going to start to slow down because there's going to be a lot of things going on. Holiday season is upon us, right? Okay, You've we've got, got like four <laughs> trick or treating parties for yeah, Halloween. You're trunk gonna or have... treat, you name it. We got Christmas, we got New Year's, we've got we've got all of these things that are gonna be all coming the up. Things. And if you're still working a nine to five, chances are you're gonna have a bunch of stuff with that too because you're closing out the year. Yep. Okay, and we totally get that. I get it. Um when I was working and doing all that stuff and we get it still, we still have this time of year where it can slow down a lot for a lot of people. Yes. And and to be honest with you, the first two and a half years of our business, we just kind of just shut off come October and we always told ourselves, ah, oh. come January, we'll get it started again. Yep. Right? Or it we would it would be October, we would feel ourselves winding down. Yes. Because you start to get excited. It's the time of the year when you want to be able to just chill on the couch with a blanket and yep. you know your coffee or your hot chocolate or whatever it is that you drink. Yes. And you don't necessarily want to be having to focus on your business all the time, but yep. slowing down is actually one of the biggest pitfalls we see most people make. And how many of you guys have ever done that? You know, just came towards the, either the end of a month or whatever, and you're like, ah, I wasn't even close to my goals this month, so I'm just going to shut off and I'm going to start, you know, fresh the next month and run yep. hard again. Okay, how many of you guys have ever done that? Raise your hand. Drop mm -hmm. us a hand in the in the comments if that's ever been you. Um, it and it's okay. It's okay. We've Jimmy. all done it. Um, and it's all a learning Gee. experience for all of us uh, when it when it comes to doing stuff like that. But here's the problem with you guys slowing down come the end of the year or at the end of any month or anything. Sean's done it. Yes. Uh, yep, Emily, unfortunately. unfortunately yep. <laughs> uh, don't have time to slow down. Love it. Uh, Lynette, hands in the air. Yep. Um, so here's the, here's the big problem is hey, uh, when when things start to happen and you start to slow down, Okay, you're, number one, even if you only have a little momentum, when you shut down and you stop at the end of a month or at the end of the year, you are completely shutting off all momentum. Yeah. And if you think about a train and how and how much power and energy it takes to get a very, very heavy train moving, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of distance yep. in order to get that train moving in. But once it's moving, it's very, very, very difficult to stop. Yeah. Okay. And that's the same thing that happens with your momentum inside your business. That is, if you slow down at the end of the month, chances are the next month you're going to spend the next two to three weeks trying to gain momentum back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Momentum is a compound effect. Okay. That happens over 30, 60, 90, 120 days. So if you think about it, if you slow down your 2019 right now, what's going to happen is, is at the end of, at, at, um, at the end of this year, you guys are now going to spend probably the next 30, 60, 90, if not 120 days trying to gain momentum back for the upcoming year. And I don't know about you, but I don't have time to do 120 days of trying to create momentum back in my business. Okay, so this is a total compound effect that's going to happen. 
if you decide to slow down for 2019. So what me and Carrie are going to share with you guys is how you guys can be focusing on specific things to keep your business rocking and rolling through the end of 2019 into 2020. Mm -hmm. So you guys can build compound effect momentum. Yes. Not only for 2020, but even into the end of 2020 into the next year as well. Yeah. Okay. So one of the first things we're going to talk about is, is you guys need to have a definite daily method of operation yes. that you need to be following especially these three months coming up mm -hmm. okay and here's the thing a lot of times when people think of daily method of operation they think man i have to fit all of these things Into inside every single day and i have to every day i now have to do these things every day maybe i'm writing an email maybe i'm doing a facebook live i have to do all the things yep. every single day well Actually, one thing that we actually found has worked really well for us is actually just having a weekly method of operation. Yep. Because when you have a weekly <clears throat> method of operation, it actually causes it so that you have you have your non-negotiables that you yep. know have to be done each week. And your daily stuff is a compound effect for that week. Yes, you there know? you go. That And mm -hmm. which I like is, and, and that seems to work better for me and Carrie is actually having a weekly method of operation. Yep. Where we know that there's specific things that we have to get done within the week. And if we get those done, our business seems to move forward. Now, yeah. the cool thing is, is you will set up a daily one as well of, of specific things that you want to do on a daily basis. Absolutely. Yes. Because having just a weekly can bring out the natural procrastinator in each of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just because you have things that you need to get done each week. It doesn't mean that the day-to-day -day things can't happen. Yes. It just means that maybe on Mondays, you're just focusing on copywriting. Yep. And maybe on Tuesdays, you're just worried about you know video marketing. Yep. But here's the thing. There are certain things that are going to have set days, right? If you're going live on your page twice a week, three times a week, those have to be scheduled. And you have to make sure that that goes in that specific, that specific day's operation. Yes. Does that make sense? Right. <laughs> yeah. And so having the week... It gives you flexibility so that you're not worried about going from copywriting mode to video marketing mode to whatever else mode, right? Like closing mode. Yep. It's much easier. Ah, sit up. You're so sweet. It's much easier when you think of it as, okay, these are the things I have to get done in each week. How might I structure it to give myself some flexibility and get more stuff done? Yes. Mm -hmm. So um, what we want you guys to be doing, especially towards the end of September, October is right, right upon us. Okay. We only have a few more days left yes. um, in this month. <laughs> um, we want you guys to take some time oh. in the remaining days of September to figure out what okay. your daily and weekly method of operation is going to look like come October, November, and December into the new year. Okay, that way you guys have it planned out. You know what you're going to be working on, what we're going to do. And actually what we're going to be sharing with you next is actually something that we want you guys to put in your weekly method and daily method of operation because EMP has some amazing things uh, or attractionmarketing.com has some amazing things uh, coming out starting in October and November of some amazing opportunity for you guys to create a lot of momentum inside your business um, by doing these. So. One of the biggest things that, that, that's going to make your October, November, December an easy way to really create fire in your business towards the end of the year is actually leveraging contests that we're going to be having here inside the community. So there's going to be contests coming up and new launches and, and different things like that where everybody here inside the Elite Marketing Pro or the AttractionMarketing.com community is going to be able to participate in this and, um, and really create momentum in their business. And to be honest with you, when me and Carrie first started, this is something that actually really was a big powerhouse for our business at the end of every year when they did launches of a new product or something like that, like something that was going to benefit the entire network marketing world or online world, we were able to, um, we were able to leverage these. And, and the cool thing is, is usually come December, November, December is when probably the less money is made um, just because people get busy. They're spending money on different things. November and December have actually become traditionally uh, one, one of mine and Carrie's stronger months, and it's because we're able to leverage specific things. And the cool thing is, I didn't have to put the content together. I didn't have to do all of this work to make it happen. Guys, attractionmarketing.com is going to be putting this stuff together for you to leverage 
so you know content of what to be talking about. Maybe if you're doing emails, emails of what you can be sending out there, you name it, ads that you can be running, you name it. You're going to have all of this content that you're going to be able to plan and have inside your system that you guys can create a lot of momentum coming um, out of 2019 into the new year and really create a lot of momentum inside your business. Okay. So leveraging stuff that's already that you guys can use right now to make your daily and weekly method of operation is the third thing is leverage this stuff. So be on the lookout for that because this is going to be probably announced within the next couple weeks or so of different things that are going to be going on um, here inside the community. So be on the lookout for that because guys, I promise you, you're not going to want to miss it. Um, and the funny thing is, is I don't even really know what it is, <laughs> but I know it's happening. So, um, me and Carrie are super excited for what's going to be announced or, and whatever it is, because we know that this is something that we're going to be able to leverage inside of our business to create momentum into 2020. Okay. So leverage stuff. You guys got a bunch of content here inside the community that you can already work into your daily method and weekly method of operation. So hopefully, uh, guys, you guys got a lot of value out of this to be able to, um, you know, uh, get your businesses moving and stuff like that. Let me know if you guys um, got value out of this. And also let me know some of your takeaways that you guys got uh, from this live today that me and Carrie did. What are some takeaways that you guys uh, got from this live. Just drop them down in the comment. Um, Eric, bring it on, love it. We got some values popping in. But let me know some of your takeaways. I'm curious to see what you guys got from this and what you guys can be doing in the last three months of the year to really make 2019 rock it and roll. So drop me a comment, staying motivated when things come up, love it, okay? And I want you to dig a little deeper. How might you stay motivated? Don't slow down. Cherie, what does that look like to not slow down? I'm curious. What does that look like uh, for you not to slow down, Cherie? Okay, or Sherry. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Sherry. Um, but what are some other things? Weekly operations will be helpful to stay on track. Love it, Lauren. Sweet. What else, guys? Keep DDOAs and DMOs. Great. Yeah, staying plugged in to, to what's going on here inside the community. Good to write down and action on D on DMO. Sean, love it. Stay plugged in and leverage things. Love it. Fran, what's going on, girl? Um, what else? What else did you guys take away from this? Hopefully you guys are getting a lot. This is, again, these three things that we that me and Carrie did for the last three years in our business have actually been the most exciting times of our business because we've been able to create a lot of momentum into the new year. Keep daily mode of operation and weekly. Love it. Daily and weekly operations to keep me on track. Love it, Annalise. Sweet. Well, guys, it seems like you guys took away a lot from this, and you guys are going to be able to use this for um, the upcoming months, the rest of 2019, to keep it on fire. You are excited about what's to come. Just gets us going. Oh, I am excited, Susan. Super excited. Um, keep momentum going with your daily, weekly met method of operate mode of operation. Love it. Okay, guys, well, this was our Daily Dose of Awesome. Daily Dose of Awesome is going to be live again tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So if you do not have your notifications turned on, please turn on your notifications inside uh, this group. So that way, or inside this page, so that way you guys, or group, yeah, group. Um, so that way you are all getting notified when we go live and getting this amazing content here inside the community. So guys... Have a great rest of your day. Be on the lookout for tomorrow. And thanks for coming out and hanging out with me and Carrie. And we will talk to you all soon. See you guys.